Flag Riders from Enterprise Elementary. This is a great school. We learn lots of things. And one of the coolest things that all of us third graders get to do is take part in the Storybook Adventures Project. Storybook Adventures is a project that our teachers do every year. They work with the folks from Arts Partners to teach us about storytelling, songwriting, illustrating, puppet making, and more. This year, Art Partners artists use folk tales to teach us about responsibility. They did songwriting and like storytelling, which is okay to my two favorite things. We made a song with Mr. Fowler, and we talked with Mrs. Nichols about setting characters, problem, and resolution. And if you don't have one of those parts, then it's not a fully story. We used what we learned to write our own stories, which we illustrated and bound, making us authors and illustrators. When we got done with all that, we got to share our stories, and then we got to do do it for the school and the grown-ups and stuff. And it was fun. Use what you see, what you hear, what you smell. Judy Nichols is a storyteller, and she kicked off the Storybook Adventures Project by telling us three folk tales. Miss Nichols came in and told us a story, and all three classes had a different story. And she told us the four parts, the character setting, problem, and solution. This puzzle represents our story. It has four pieces. What are the pieces of this puzzle that every story has to have? Mrs. Nichols taught us that character, setting, problem, and resolution are the who, what, when, where, and how of storytelling. These things fit together like a puzzle. We work as a class to see if we can recognize the characters, setting, problem, and resolution in Mrs. Nichols' stories. She taught us about the four parts, and we did the characters in her story, the um, setting in her story, the problem in her story, and the resolution. And then we retold the story how we thought it was. To retell a story, we had to be able to recognize the beginning, middle, and end of the story. We also had to remember that a good story includes details. And today we are going to jump in the middle of some details and learn how they get worked. Because that's what storytellers do. We take the bare bones, we take this puzzle, and then we add details to it to make it interesting. Details, stuff that you want to add to the setting, to the characters and how they look, how they feel. If you don't have details, the story would probably be boring. Then the daughter turned to gold. Gold Then the little man came and said, go, go. Next, Aaron Fowler helped us write songs about the stories. That was fun, too, because we all got to um, think of a sentence to go in the story. Mr. Fowler is a singer-songwriter, and he taught us the six steps to songwriting. Theme or topic, keywords and phrases, rhyming words, form, rhythm, and melody. Made a choice to fight no more, because what's our whole song about? Making good choices. So let's add that in there right there. The people, the people made a choice. The theme or topic was easy. Each class wrote their song about one of Miss Nichols' stories. Next, we picked out keywords and phrases that were important to the story. Some of our keywords were names of characters and settings, while others were important details from the story. Then we brainstormed to come up with good rhyming words for our keywords. King, a keyword from Key Midas in the Golden Touch, rhymes with lots of things, like ring, sting, Think and think. The form of the song is how the song is organized. Our songs have four verses, which have an AABB rhyming pattern. 
that means that the first two lines rhymed and the last two lines rhymed. It's just like the patterns we talk about in math. The next step was rhythm, so we practiced counting out the beats. Each line of our song had to have the same number of beats. The last step was melody. Mr. Fowler wrote the melody for our songs. After a lot of hard work, each class finished writing their song, and we set to work practicing. We got to make up our own verses, and it, when we put it together, it actually came out really good. Each one of you has a story inside your head. Ideas that we didn't get to use up here, words, details that we didn't get to use. What you're going to do now is you're going to pick some characters. I was when our songs were all done, Mrs. Nichols came back and helped us get started on our own stories. As a class, we came up with ideas. Then we got to use those ideas, or some of our own, to write our own story. We had to make sure that our story was about responsibility and good choices, just like Mrs. Nichols' stories. It's like everything we write, we have to make sure we edited our story. Then when we had the story just right, we got to make it into a book. We typed our stories into the computer and printed them out. Then we got to become illustrators as we added pictures to our book. We even got to have an author's page, just like in a real book. Our books turned out great, and they were all unique. It was about a rhino, a bull, and an armadillo, and a porcupine. Porcupine and the armadillo work together, and then the other two work together to see who was faster, try to pull pranks on each other. I wrote a Cinderella story, and the problem was that Cinderella's dad died, and her mother got a new boyfriend, and she didn't like him. This pig named Wilbur was going to get sick because he ate too much junk food. Nibbles and Petal went to the Y and the gym and helped him eat healthy food so he wouldn't get sick. My story was about um, this boy, this dog, and this other boy. It was about um, Jason was robbing Caden's house and Caden called the police and they went inside the doghouse. We all loved writing our own stories and making our own books. Some of us like to write and some of us like to do the illustrations. But no matter what, we had fun and learned a lot. I thought it was fun because um, you got to think of your own characters and you got to actually put your own words in it. We even got to use the characters that we created in our story for our project. Our art teacher helped us make one character into a puppet using paper plates for the head. We let our imagination soar as we cut, painted, curled, and glued, making our puppets just right. Well, our puppets had to be one of our favorite characters, and then they had to either say what the character was going to say, or either could be the narrator. I made well with the pig. So I, I made him a nose and some eyes. I gave him a towel, but, and I painted him like, in his mouth he had braces. Oh. With our stories written, our books bound, our puppets ready, and our songs rehearsed, it was time for our final performance. Well, that king could have wished for many, many things, but he made a wish It was only for him. Everybody in the whole school was invited to hear Miss Nichols tell her folk tales. Then each third K class got to sing the song they had written. Mr. Fowler even taught the chorus to the audience so they could sing along. Then we went to the library and shared our stories with special visitors and our friends. We even got cookies. <laughs>